Hello friend, you are watching Instrument Expert channel. Today our topic is about the integration of DCS and SIS system. Uh, first of all, I will introduce uh, what is do you mean by DCS and what do you mean by SIS system. DCS system we are using in industrial power plants, petrochemical and power plants which is called about distributed control system. We have in the distributed control system, uh, we have uh, different uh, IOs and uh, controllers which are distributed in all over the plants and we are controlling the main equipments and also the balance of plant. But there is also uh, some equipments uh, which is need to be controlled uh, and which are uh, essential for the safety uh, uh, system. And uh, uh, usually we have separate controllers, uh, PLCs uh, and microprocessors are installed for this one. We call this system as SIS system. Okay, usually SIS system is essential when uh, simple words when there is uh, the DCS cannot control the predetermined process variables and uh, the, C, uh, the C system get in action and it needs to trap or to stop the whole process. The primary function of uh, DCS PLC is to hold specific process variable to predetermined level in dynamics environment while CIS is static system that take action when process is out of control and control system is unable to operate within safe limit. In the plant, in any industrial power plants, the DCS and SIS system are typically interfaced through gateway with each system having its own operator engineering and interfaces. Achieving, there are different type of uh, procedures to achieve the operational integration between the DCS and SIS. But we can define four level of integration. One is the operation integration, which means that it must follow all the plant personnel, personnel to have seamless and transparent interface to the process under control. All required information would be available on operational controller. The second integration uh, level of integration is to peer to peer communication between the safety controller and the process controller. Is it is the also the key of integration. Information from one controller needs to be communicated to peer quickly in order to anticipate process startup. All data in the lowest level of uh, process and safety IOs can be transferred to high level of operations and turned information that is usable for the process. The fourth uh, thing is the configuration uh, tool uh, which is required to integrate uh, value added if the find information is changed interchangeable this means user has single point of data entry to the database and it can be replicated to the other database it should be noted that integration of dcs and uh, safety uh, sis system doesn't imply a single common system rather the two system are integrated for ease of use uh, we can also give example of uh, power plant which is currently i'm working nowadays uh, we have uh, emergency trip system which we can comply to the SIS system uh, and it can be separate uh, uh, PLCs and process controllers are installed for this in case of any abnormality like overspeed protection or any abnormality in the vibrations or from the uh, differential expansion of the steam turbines or the temperatures of the bearings it can simply uh, trip uh, give the trip signal to the uh, DCS to imply for the trip of the system. Thank you for watching uh, today topic and I hope we will meet it soon.